Hi there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joint adult and craft related content. Um, here's Milo making an appearance. So, um, sorry, for, sorry if the quality of this video is a little lower. I am filming it on my phone. It's a decent iPhone, so I'm hoping the quality is okay. Um, so as you know, if I'm filming, well, as you may know, if I'm filming on an iPhone, it's because it's a vlog, um, because I don't like to walk around with like a big camera everywhere. It's a, it makes me like anxious. So I just use my phone. Um, so we are headed to New Orleans, Louisiana, and I am bringing a couple dolls. You might've seen last week, I was packing for Fig and Fennel, and they are coming with me to New Orleans. Um, so. I'm pretty excited. I hope I get to take lots of cute pictures with them. So yeah, we're not the saw. The saw's not coming, but we're all packed. Um, Fig and Fennel are in this bag. They're, they're at the bottom. There, you can kind of see a bulge of a doll. I'm actually a little worried that I'm gonna have to like pull them all the way out at uh, customs. That's gonna be fun. But yeah, they're just Fennel very much having a siesta under the bag and then Fig. I don't know where her face is. It's like sideways, but yeah, she's in there too. So yeah, I mean like obviously great accommodations for them, but um, this is just to get them through the airport. So we're driving to Toronto tonight uh, because it's a lot cheaper than flying directly from the city we live in. So yeah, driving to Toronto um, like now, and then we'll be flying out really early tomorrow morning. So yeah, we, uh, we are heading out like right now. I decided to spare you guys too much footage of the drive and all that, but here's us in the airport. I did get brave enough to take Fig and Fennel out in the airport for a couple photos. Um, I mean, I did have to pull them out so that Fennel could get manhandled by TSA, which was quite the experience, but um, yeah. The whole time the agent was looking her over and pulling at her arms and stuff, I was just like, man, please don't take my doll. I mean, I feel like this is, it was so scary. And this is a doll I printed. So I can't even imagine if this was like a doll I'd purchased, how scared I would be, or if it wasn't something I could replicate or reprint if I needed to. Whew. I gotta say though, they look so cute in their little airport outfits with their bag. I just thought it was adorable. And I didn't even care that an old lady gave me the side eye. It was cute. Having them there honestly was such a nice distraction because I'm gonna be honest, I hate flying. I hate taking off and landing. Once I'm in the air, if there's not turbulence, it's okay. And thankfully there wasn't and I was able to spend the entire like four hour flight drawing on my iPad and all was well with the world. And then we were landing in New Orleans. All right, we're here. Um, it is the next day, which is why. Yeah, I'm like changed and stuff, but yeah, it's the next day. Um, we fell asleep really early and then woke up at like 5 a.m. So the time changed because we went to bed so early, but uh, we have all arrived. We have Fennel here. Fennel looking like kind of worse for wear. Like this wig choice was not great for being shoved in a bag for like 24 hours. I'm still happy I brought her, even if she did get like violently strip searched by TSA. <laughs> Um, they like fully like took her shirt off and were like pulling on her limbs because she was hollow and doing like the little thing to make sure she's not like filled with drugs or something. I was like, I mean, like, I guess I could see someone doing that. But then the guy finishes pulling her apart and then like hands her, like puts her back in the bag and he goes, nice craftsmanship. And I was like, okay, okay, friend. Fig is looking a little better. Um, her wig is like acrylic and it like, it's a bit loose or pony. He'll probably have to tighten it. But yeah, we are about to go camping. Um, and by camping, camping is not like when we camp um, in the woods and stuff. It's like a um, campground where everything's like, there's like a water park. Um, I'm not going to be bringing them for that because we're going to be in a trailer. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of people in one trailer. So not a lot, but too many for having dolls kicking around too. So I'm just gonna leave them here for a couple days. And when we come back, we'll do adventures with them. But you know, for now, she's just gonna hang out here. Sorry, girl. 
Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, we're here visiting my mima, and my mima is also a doll collector, but she collects what my kids call the scary dolls. Um, <laughs> so they're all in time out um, in the corner of the room I'm sleeping in because my kids don't like looking at them. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're all like, I mean, I don't necessarily think porcelain dolls are creepy. They're not my thing, but like, I get why my kids wouldn't want them like staring at them from their bed or the, um, the baby dolls that they're like this. Yeah, they're all face down right now because my kids don't like them. So. All right, we're back from camping. Um, we're actually going to run out to um, Walmart and maybe Target uh, and look around. Um, we're just gonna look around and see what's there. If there's anything like that could be cute for dolls, that might be fun to show, so we'll do that. And uh, now I'm back with these two. I'm gonna change their clothes because it is obviously way too hot. I'm wearing like a sundress, so like too hot for them to be in that. So I'll change them when I get back. There was so much cool stuff to look at. Honestly, I felt like we're getting a little ripped off in my town. Again, I'm sure this isn't all of Canada. Canada is not just my city, but there was so much like Barbie clothes and so many different options for like blind boxes. Oh my gosh. I was super tempted by all these mini brands, especially the Disney store ones. I thought they would have been super cute. All right, and I need to take a moment and just say, um, LOL, Queens are the cutest. I think I like them even more than rainbow high dolls. I think they're so cute. I think they should get more love. Maybe they do. Maybe I just don't see it. But I was so tempted to buy all of these. I didn't. I resisted because I have nowhere to display them. But they are so cute. I also found these little six scale sets. And these would probably fit the teeny tinies perfectly, if I'm going to be honest. They're really, really cute. I really like the robe especially. It looks so soft and fluffy. I'm sure you all know this by now, but 18-inch dolls, so My Life As, American Girl, all that stuff, Journey Girls, uh, Maple Lee, I believe. But anyways, all of their accessories as in um, props and stuff, tend to work really well for MSDs. The clothes, no, not so much, unless you like a really weird baggy fit. Um, and same with like third scales. I, sometimes they can wear them, sometimes not. But they had so much amazing little prop stuff. And oh my gosh, like I was like, should I check a bag? Should I? I don't know. Um, I hadn't seen all this stuff. We have maybe a third of this selection. And oh my gosh. I just loved everything. Also, a quick note that these Squishville little Squishmallows uh, make fantastic props for BJDs. They're really well scaled. Um, they can be the big ones, like the big Squishmallows for six scales or the smaller ones for like third scales. But honestly, they're so cute and there's so many. Honestly, this footage is like maybe a quarter of what I shot because there was just so much cute stuff. There was like little shop stands, things that would make like great furniture for dolls, just little toys, so much stuff. I was losing my mind uh, and I really had to restrain myself. I don't know. I just, I don't know how you all see these cute doll things all the time and don't buy them all. I just, oh. If you could have all heard the gasp I gasped when I saw this little tiny shopping cart, I had, again, no way to bring this home. Um, and I'm really mad that it was not collapsible because this is honestly like my favorite thing I saw. And I just like, couldn't be mine, but it was so cool. And then here's some more clothes and all, all kinds of stuff to look at. Okay, 
okay shopping footage coming to a close there will be a separate video showing everything i did actually get so keep an eye out for that in the meantime um we went back home i dressed fig and fennel in clothes that they didn't look like they were going to sweat to death in so that we could go on our next adventure actually left the tr like we went to the camp and then we went to Target and stuff we haven't really done any sightseeing so um we're going to be doing that so I'm just trying to make myself quasi presentable because I have been like living like in loungewear at camp and stuff and I'm trying to like not today um because we're gonna go to uh, City Park and Carousel Gardens um they are like this cute area in New Orleans. Um, there's like a little amusement park. Uh, there's like this weird like storybook land. It's like cute, but also kind of bizarre. And I think they'll be really cute, hopefully. Yeah, and um, I mean, Fig's gonna come on adventures too. I'll probably bring Fig maybe to the Children's Museum, maybe to New Orleans, like that, or to like, Maybe I'll bring Fig to like the French Quarter when we go, um, but yeah. All right, um, ready to go. This is the look today. Um, it's okay, it's just like my normal makeup, I guess, but like minus anything that leaks. Um, and then I've got fennel here. Yeah, they're wearing a coat. It's gonna be hot as hell, but they're, they don't feel heat. They can look cute. Um, and boots, like I would die in that outfit um, outside right now, but they look good. So um, we're just gonna get them ready. This day was actually one of the most beautiful days of our whole vacation. It was really warm, but it was overcast, so we weren't sunburning to death. And we were so pleasantly surprised by how many fun rides were at Carousel Gardens. If you're in the New Orleans area and you have kids, or if you're just like moderate thrill rides like I do, I do recommend this place. I, um, I did manage to pull fennel out a couple times. And uh, again, there were so many people and I was just trying to be so brave because I really wanted to take photos and to like document this trip with them. And oh my gosh, it's so like, there's something so like mortifying about being a full grown adult pulling out a doll. And I'm just like, don't look at me, don't look at me. But um, I think it was worth it for the photos and to get myself out of my comfort zone. But yeah, this was such a good day and it was a lot of fun and we were there for like eight hours. So we were really tired at the end of it, but yeah, definitely worth it. All right, so today's adventure is going to be taking us to the Louisiana Children's Museum. So uh, let's go get ready for that because Fennel is looking cute and dressed. Uh, maybe a quick hairbrush for them, but I'm looking like I just rolled out of the bed. So let's... Maybe fix that. Look, is that yesterday mascara? Let's go. This is, in fact, not the Children's Museum. I completely forgot that it was closed on Mondays, so we weren't able to go on Monday and had to go on Tuesday instead. However, I forgot to film when we went on Tuesday, so I'm sorry. Fig ended up just staying in my bag the whole time anyways. However, um, this day, the Monday, we did end up going to the French Quarter instead, which is a place I love to go. So many historic buildings. It's so beautiful, such cool shops, and so fun to look through. Honestly, I could be here for like... 12 hours, no problem. I loved it so much. And again, I managed to pull fennel out and take some pictures. Again, very busy area, but it was a lot of fun. In another show of great self-restraint, I did not buy, in fact, every tiny piece of New Orleans memorabilia I came across, and there was so much. Um, I loved it all. I loved these tiny snow globes. There were like little bitty figurines. There was, there was all kinds of stuff. And I mean, so much of it is so cool. And so much of it was like in my color palette. Like, it's so funny. Um, it's like, it, it was just calling for me to spend all my money and be broke. Had there not been feathers on these masks, I would have bought solidly three of them. 
we also got to watch some live music. Okay, so back to shopping, I know, but there was this whole shop full of like miniatures and it was closed and it said they were closed for lunch, but it had been two hours since the sign had been put up and nobody had come back. So, I mean, this was the longest lunch break ever, but it was good for my wallet because I, I probably would have bought a lot of stuff in here, but I'm also really sad because some of it was so beautiful. I was looking through the window and oh my God, I wanted it all so bad. Uh, but there was cute stuff other places, so I was happy. And then we were back on our way home, out of the frying pan, into the freezer. There's snow everywhere. It's so sad. But it was a really nice trip, and I had a lot of fun, and it felt really cool to get out of my comfort zone and pull my dolls out for photos in public in vacation. It was so cool. All right, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!